get what you missed on. Pearl in the Morning with Tina and Zuki. And Danko. We were speaking about forgiveness. Is there somebody, Sean, you have not forgiven? I believe so. Okay. Mm-hmm. Is yeah. there someone who owes you forgiveness? Um, yes, Jui. Really? Like, I, I don't know. Just, it, an, another call in Danganya, they've forgiven me. And <laughs> they've not yet <laughs> forgiven <laughs> me. Awaja <laughs> Chilia. <laughs> Where's the Jua? So we're talking about forgiveness this morning. Yeah. And it's a tough, tough place to be at, by the way. Oh, yeah. Very tough. But just in case you're wondering about forgiveness mm. and what to do, there are some situations that can stop you from accessing all that God has for you mm-hmm. because you've not forgiven. Mm-hmm. All right? Yes. Now, there are some of you that believe you have forgiven, Ooh. but something tells you it's not yet over. Mm-hmm. All right? Mm-hmm. So you think it's over. You pretend it's okay. You have trouble sleeping. Mm-hmm. You can't stop thinking about what happened Mm -hmm. and you can't seem to move on. You have a hard time forgiving people, some more than others. Others. And the reason is because many of us have faulty notions of what forgiveness is in the first place. Yes, yes. Like receiving an apology or being reconciled with a person. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, how can you know whether unforgiveness is eating your life? Number Mm -hmm. one, you experience bursts of anger. Bursts of anger. You just, if you're struggling with unforgiveness, you, you've likely bottled up your anger. Yes. Think about it. Yes. So what do you do instead? Hmm. Be mindful when you start to feel that anger build. Be mindful. Yes. Quickly put into gear your mind and tell it, ah, 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 ah. Beware of the sauce. Mm-hmm. Catch it. If you catch yourself in the middle of an outburst, mm-hmm. it is never too late to do an about turn. Turn around. Here's the other one. You're petty and impulsive. <whistles> when you're interacting with somebody who you're struggling to forgive, mm. you make those... Mm, you know the snide remarks. Like, yes. You, you may you 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 text passive aggressive texts. Exactly. <laughs> you, you engage in mad slinging. No. You, you're still powerless because you have not forgiven them. Mm. So what do you do instead? We absolutely encourage you to pause before engaging with the person. Mm-hmm. Let your conscience kick in. Mm-hmm. If it's y- your contemplated interaction, I- if it's not going to improve things, moi. Leave it alone. Yes. Leave it. Mm-hmm. Here's another one. How do you know you've not forgiven someone? You're desperate to make them understand how you feel. So you're having an inner conversation. Yes. For all example, the time. Yeah. Hmm, if this person who caused me pain can only see what they did, mm-hmm. Aki, mm-hmm. they would want to say they are sorry. Hey, they would want to say they are sorry, Abi. <laughs> so what do you do instead? Mm-hmm. It's hard to swallow, but here's the truth. This person, who you um to, yes. they may never recognize what they did. Do you hear what we're telling you? That's the hardest part. Now, accepting and letting go are key aspects of forgiveness. Accepting and letting go. And this is where it happens. Hmm. When they don't understand how they made you feel, accept it, let it go. Hmm. Do you also know how you've not forgiven? Hmm. You're compulsive. Do you know you cannot control the person that hurt you, but you can control your environment. Think about it. Mm-hmm. This can quickly become a negative spiral of compulsive activity. Yes. Maybe for you, this means I'm going to keep my space spotless. I'm going to check social media repeatedly. You make unnecessary purchases with money you don't have to mm-hmm. impress people you don't like. Mm-hmm. It also may involve, wait for it, comfort eating. Yeah. A, ah, you're you compulsive. Come yeah, so you, you, you're constantly, yes. you want to put, keep yourself... Uh, and do you know why, Danko? Uh, it gives you the impression that you're in control. Impression. Impression. Not the truth. But that's not the reality on the ground. Correct. Crime. So what do you do instead? There's a moment when you realize what is happening. Mm. Choose to pull away. Don't buy. Don't eat. eat. Don't engage in compulsive behavior. Mm. Think of what is important to you. Also... Here's another, another sign. Mm-hmm. When you're unable to f- reframe your experiences, mm. what I mean is this. When you allow another person to color your memories, let's say that person who hurt you had a particular cologne mm. or perfume, ah, you and you smell it. Identify. When you smell it, everything that was pleasant about this perfume goes, goes away. away. So listen. It'll be smart for you to acknowledge the part of this association it played in your life, mm-hmm. but don't allow it to control you going forward. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
it means you may need to either donate that perfume. I kid you not. Give away the thing they gave you mm-hmm. that used to hold so much significance. Hand it away. Yeah. Create new happy memories. With the help of God, this is possible. Mm. Also, here's another sign. You're not taking responsibility for your feelings. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You find yourself blaming the person. You can't forgive them. You even blame the weather. Have you ever seen people blame yes, the weather? Yes. They even blame traffic. Yeah. Anything that you know you have no control over. Yeah. You blame. Understand that when you choose to withhold forgiveness, what you're saying to the offender is, I hold you responsible not just for what you did to me, mm-hmm. but how I reacted and responded to what you did. did. So I'm holding you responsible for my unhappiness. You, the weather, the traffic, akina danko. And even everybody the that didn't have a problem. Exactly. So what do you do? You may be slow to acknowledge it, but here it is. There's a hidden script. It's a lie. Plain and simple. This thing that's operating in your head and mm-hmm. in your heart, it's a lie. Hmm. Only you, you, you. Mm-hmm. Only you are able or responsible for your reactions and feelings. Take responsibility. That's right. That's right. Did you know? Here's another sign my people don't know, but Auntie Dale had it. Mm-hmm. You are sick. Withholding forgiveness may actually make you sick. Mm -hmm. Now, scientists have proved sometimes your pH, your acidity overrules everything else, can't Mm -hmm. be neutralized, so it burns your bones, burns your tissue, you get ulcers. Mm -hmm. If you're struggling with stress-related sicknesses or illnesses like anxiety, Mm -hmm. depression, high blood pressure, check. It may be unforgiveness. Check. So, what do you do? Let go of bitterness. Mm -hmm. Let it go. It will improve your immune system. Mm -hmm. Start exercising. That does a lot of stress away. Plus, you do know that love does not keep a record of wrong. You know this, right? That's right. right. Here's a sign of unforgiveness. You're keeping a list of offenses. It's it's like a mental list. Mm. Each time your offender looks you the wrong way. (laughs) They say something offensive. They even ignore you, Aki. You catalog it. You actually have a book. You may think they're the ones in your dungeon, but if you look closely, <laughs> you're the one inside, inside that dun- prison bar, uh, not outside. Oof, oof, oof. So what do you do? If your list is long, in fact, it's so long that you're forgiven, you've even forgotten the original offense mm. <laughs> that you started with, ditch the list. Get rid of it. If you're already having a written list, you're already halfway there. Just put it in a shredder. Mm-hmm. Can I tell you another thing? Yes. And this could be the final one. You hate yourself. Now, I know this is a bit too strong, mm-hmm. and, but it's probably not far from the truth. If you're stuck in unforgiveness, you're probably experiencing a toxic brew of guilt. Yeah. Ukona shame, self-judgment, self-sabotage. What do you do instead? Know that it doesn't have to be this way. The way out is simple. Love yourself. God loves you. And stop playing this scene over and over in your head. Mm-hmm. Plus, don't gossip about people. That's another sign you're not forgiven them. That's right. Of course, it's natural to do that. But death and life lie where? In the power of the tongue. Correct. Also, you might think you're righteous and entitled. Especially if your situation is where you are genuinely wronged. Mm. You are not. Challenge your own sense of self-entitlement. Challenge it. And if you exercise poor judgment on whatever level, if someone hurt you in a significant way, you may engage in unhealthy or risky behavior. Yes. You're exercising poor judgment. Mm. Now, do this. Identify the things that you can engage in proper self-care. Mm-hmm. Create a list. Sasawa. Yes. Meditate, pray, eat healthy. Don't let unforgiveness destroy you. Christ already bore that. Yeah. Let it go. That's right. Sean, <laughs> you ready? Yes, Danko, you have something to say? And everything you've just said, couple that to the fact that Orao told us that if you do it from logic, right. it is an exercise in futility. Let God guide you. <sighs> Join Tina and Zuki and Danko on Peril in the Morning. Weekdays from 5.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. 